Hello everyone and welcome back to the class. Today in the series of circuit analysis, we will study superposition theorem. Whenever for a given circuit we have two or more than independent sources which can be either voltage source or current source and we have to determine the value of a specific variable which can be either voltage across an element or current passing through an element. Here we have option to use any method like mesh analysis or nodal analysis to find the unknown variable. Or if you look at the given circuit, in this we have one independent voltage source and also independent current source. And we have to find voltage across 4 ohm resistor which is given by V. Here you can use mesh analysis or nodal analysis or any other method which is more convenient to you. Or another way to determine using the linearity property is that we may find contribution of each independent source to the unknown variable which can be either voltage or current through an element and then add them up for the overall result. Like in the given case, at first we will assume that circuit have only one independent voltage source and we will find the corresponding value of voltage across 4 ohm resistor that will be or V1 then we will assume that circuit have only current source and we will find voltage across 4 ohm resistor again and that will be our V2 at the end we will sum up both V1 and V2 to find overall voltage across 4 ohm resistor this is known as superposition theorem which is based on linearity property. Now the superposition principle states that the voltages across an element or current through an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of voltages across that element or current through that element due to each independent source acting alone. Here also note down that Superposition principle is not limited to the circuit analysis but it is applicable in many other fields where input and output have linear relationship or they are directly proportional to one another. The principle of superposition help us to analyze a linear circuit where more than one independent current or voltage sources are present. By calculating the contribution of each independent source separately and then summing up contribution of each independent source to find the net result. However, to apply superposition principle, we must keep two things in mind. We will consider one independent source at a time while all other sources will be turned off, which implies that we will replace a voltage source by zero volt or short circuit and every current source by zero ampere or an open circuit because no current flows through an open circuit. And by doing this, our circuit is reduced into a more simplified form and through which we can easily find our required values. And second point is that dependent sources are left intact because they are controlled by the circuit variables. So we won't be turning off the dependent current or voltage sources in superposition principle. Now we will study what steps are to be followed for superposition principle. The first step is to turn off all the independent sources except the one source. Second step is to find the output voltage or current due to the active source with the help of technique which is more convenient to you. Third step is repeat a step 1 for the remaining independent sources and the last step is to find out the total contribution by adding the all the contribution due to independent sources. Now look at the given example. In this you have to find the value of voltage V with the help of superposition method. In the given circuit we have two independent sources. So the output voltage V will be equal to V1 plus V2 where V1 is the contribution due to 6 volt voltage source and V2 is the contribution due to 3 ampere current source. Now as a first step, 
to obtain V1, we will set current source to 0 and this will result in an open circuit as given in figure B. Now as a second step, we will find V1 with the help of KVL. Applying KVL gave us 12 I1 minus 6 equal to 0 or I1 equal to 0 0.5 ampere which implies that V1 will be equal to 4 into I1 will give a value of 2 volts. Now as a third step, we will repeat the same process for the 3 ampere current source and will find out the value of V2 and we will set voltage source to 0 and this will result in a short circuit as shown in the figure. And now using the current division rule, I3 is equal to 2 ampere and corresponding to this V2 voltage will be equal to 4 into I3 and will be equal to 8 volts. Now as of step 4, we will sum up all the contribution of independent sources. So the voltage V across the 4 ohm resistor will be equal to V1 plus V2 and this will give us a value of 10 volt. Now in another example you have to find I0 current with the help of superposition principle. If you analyze the given circuit, the circuit have independent and dependent sources. We have one independent current source, one independent voltage source and one dependent voltage source. Now as the voltage of dependent source is dependent on the I0 current, so the dependent source will be left same it is. Now corresponding to the two independent sources, the I0 current will be the sum of I0 A plus I0 B. Here I0 A is the current due to 4 ampere current source and I0 B is the current due to 20 volt voltage source. Now as of step 1, we will turn off 20 volt voltage source and will find I0 A with the help of mesh analysis. And the given circuit is represented in figure A which have 3 meshes and the mesh currents are I1, I2 and I3. Now the mesh 1 current will be equal to 4 ampere. We will apply KVL at mesh 2 and we will have the equation minus 3 I1 plus 6 I2 minus I3 minus 5 I0 A equals 0. And this will be the equation B. Now we will apply KVL at loop 3 which will result in the equation of minus 5 I1 minus I2 plus 10 I3 plus 5 I0 A equals 0 and this will be the equation C. Now if we apply KCL at node 0 which will give us I3 is equal to I1 minus I0 A or 4 minus I0 A. This will be the equation D. Now if we solve equation A, B, C and D, we get the value of I0 A equals 52 over 17 amperes. Now as of step 3, to obtain I0 B, which is current due to the 20 volt independent voltage source and for this we will turn off 4 ampere current source which will result in an open circuit as shown in the figure B. Now the given circuit have two meshes and the mesh currents are I4 and I5. Now again using mesh analysis and applying KVL at loop 4 gives an equation of 6 I4 minus I5 minus 5 I0 B equals 0. This will be equation E and now applying KVL at loop 5 gives an equation of minus I4 plus 10 I5 plus 5 I0 B minus 20 equals 0 and this will be equation F. Here if you look at the circuit that I5 is equal to minus I0 B because both are in opposite direction. So substituting this we have equation 6 I4 minus 4 I0 B equals 0. This will be equation G and I4 plus 5 I0 B equal minus 20 will be equation H. Now solving this equation we get a value of I0 B equal minus 60 or 17 amperes. 
Now we know that I0 is equal to I0 A plus I0 B or this will give us a value of minus 8 over 17 amperes. Analyzing a circuit with the help of superposition principle have disadvantage that it involve more work. Like if the given circuit have three independent sources. So for superposition principle, we have to make three simpler circuit providing contribution of each independent source. However, the superposition principle also helps in reducing the complex circuit into simpler one by replacing the voltage sources by short circuit and current sources by open circuit. As the superposition principle is based on linearity, for this reason it is not applicable to effect on power due to each source because power absorbed by resistor depends on the square of voltage or current. If the power value is needed, the current through or voltage across the element must be calculated before using the superposition principle. And thanks for watching this video.